Hey, Jenny, Sally. soul speak tonight you know one of the purposes of soulology is to bring out into the open all the things we are sharing in this apocalypse everything's more intense even if we don't know what's happening to us all the time we sure can feel it but there's a lot of things that we could share you know things that we're afraid to share or even embarrassed to discuss Yet this is the universal paradox. It's how the universe teaches. Soul sense found behind fears. Our highest leaps of light just past the frail walls of a harmless darkness. Possibilities, probabilities, realities. More frequencies and vibrations if we're brave enough to use them. And they all lead to the same place. It's called the soul highway. Pyramids, pineal gland, ET lineage, memories of abductions, angel visits, ascended masters. And who are these powers behind the governments that have begun to fall? Doesn't really matter. What's important is me and you. Perhaps the best thing we could share are the personal challenges, the emotional eruptions, mental and physical shifts come with and to a seeking mind in the golden age we live in. You see, our victories are far more than we know. When we cross the heart to a higher ground, by yielding to the possible impossibilities. And what we find in this shared space contained within ourselves, linked somehow by the same healing power. It's called the Gnosis of Soul. We have given the world our differences and the story has never changed. It's time to shine. Ascension is about honoring our sacred space. And when we do, all merges into one. And no longer do we have to point to what's different. No longer do we have to label each other with lies to make ourselves look good, to make ourselves look better in the egoic mind. It's time to shine, beginning with our innermost circles of life. <laughs> oh well, I guess I was trying to write uh, Augustine Vera message. <laughs> I turned off the music. Okay, that's all right. <clears throat> let's let's bring them on in. Let's see here. Always a good show with them. Let's see. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, world travelers? What's going on? Y'all look like you're cold. <laughs> yes, we're very cold. <laughs> Everybody knows that Brazil is a cold place. I thought Brazil was warm. <laughs> well, it depends a bit where you are in Brazil. It's a big country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's a big country. Yeah. So, so right now we're really far down south, and that's winter you, time. Oh yeah. So you're are you uh, where you're staying? Or are you somewhere else? Um, well, actually, we just drove like fourteen hours today oh. from uh, close to Rio. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shift! Yes. 
together with Carol, one of uh, our yeah friends and uh, people that we yeah fellows that we live together with now here. Oh yeah, yeah. And she is originally from here, from the place, and has some stuff to close the past here. Uh, and so we came with her to, to Space Hall and to explore also the south of Brazil and understand better the culture. Have you have you been to Pindamonhangaba yet? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that you're saying this is so you funny. Passed, you passed. Through. We we passed. We crossed that place today. Yeah, we crossed it yeah. today, and he said, "Oh, there's another word that nobody can speak." <laughs> I, I can speak it because I have some friends from there, Pindamonhangaba. Oh, amazing. We passed it today. Yeah, yeah. It's right between Rio and uh, Sao Paulo. Yeah, it's right, right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, so we haven't talked since we, before we left Kauai, and uh, I think it's been about two weeks now. I don't know what's today. What is today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, it'd be two weeks today. God, it seems like it's been like two days. Yeah, it's crazy. So you guys, yeah, have, been, so you guys have been over there about three weeks then, right? Yes, we, yeah, it was one week before you guys left, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So almost three weeks. We came here on the 1st of August. <clears throat> yeah. Does it, so... <laughs> So does the ascension feel any different on the in the southern hemisphere? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say personally, like individually, it's not really different, but it's different to have a community that provides a safe space to mm. go through whatever you go through. And that's a really beautiful experience. You, like have more people around you that just, you know, that just get you and you can have conversations like this, like we have all the time. Mm. Yeah, that's, and, spe that's special. Um, of course, we lived in a community in Kauai and nothing against anybody there, but we were, we were not uh, able to do that. <laughs> you know, you could a little bit sometimes, but it was still, you know, in the old patterns, I think, you know, there was still, so, but you're actually, you're actually in a space where everybody's, I guess, for lack of a better word, everybody's, conscious and aware of what's happening or talking about what's happening exactly yeah it, it's really it's very aligned um and and it's just so beautiful to to be able to experience it now full time you know what we just have in glimpses before yeah that you, like like having the the soul conversations with you mm -hmm. or talking with someone online for an hour or spending a weekend with someone. Yeah. But now it's really 24 seven, it's there all the time. Wow. And it, it's really, it feels like a beginning of something completely new that we're growing into. And it's, it's gonna grow. We can already feel that more people feel very attracted to it. And there's, um, yeah, space available. And uh, well, yeah, we'll just see how this grows, but it's beautiful to, but to see it. For me, the important thing about what you ask and, and your experience in Kauai community, it's first, uh, as happened with you, Morgan, first it's this phase after the inner balance to go to the balance in the couple that we talked a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And the reason where we were invited to, to come here to, to Brazil is precisely because the people that form the source code of the fast forward it's people that resonate with that. Yeah. So we are living in a place where at least four, five people completely resonate with the source code and are on the embodiment process in a different uh, phases because it's the thing that we talk in the couples that it's taking turns. Yeah. So it happens at the start that there is people that are going more through the pain in the body to being two days completely shut down and then the others supporting and that now it's in a community way. So it's really beautiful to see how yeah. this process goes and when you, and the beauty of you're not being alone, that your body is blowing up, you're, you're going crazy, you're going through all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're not alone because at home suddenly three people in the morning and the coffee time, everybody does the same thing. It's like, wow, this is this. It's not that I'm crazy. So you are going through all of these influxes, diamond shiftings, whatever. All of this, when you are together, uh, it's more, you're not feeling that you are crazy. I, and I can feel people 
being through all of that alone at home and it's complicated. And yeah. the most surprising thing for me is in the house where we are right now in the community, there is people that are zero spiritual. That mm -hmm. they, when they listen 5D or words like this, it's like, no, no, I'm allergic to all of that. And they are completely aligned with the values of we are living. They yeah. are completely entering the safe space. They are open vulnerability. So it's an infection and now it's, it's growing. And that for me, it's the key that it's so ground yeah. that makes that everybody, including the kids on the community, everybody's on that level. Well, if everybody just listened to the kids, we'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm curious, like, um, okay, so, okay, so we lived in a community in Kauai, and uh, as I said, and, and it, um, I'm trying to, let me frame it up a different way because I'm not taking shots at anybody. We're all, you know, evolving and, yeah. and uh, so on. I, I get what you're saying about, uh, like, say these people may not use the terms 5D or ascension or, or whatever, but they they uh, are congruent with the same core values, right? So what I'm wondering is because this just came in like over the last couple of days, I did a couple of really great shows yesterday with Wanda and Teresa and um, another new friend and I can't remember her name, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> and then and then and then of course we've been on this ride for two weeks and the same type of alignment and synchronicities that you guys have, have experienced have just been coming, you know, one after the other, like boom, 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 and it's like oh my god, you know, this is this is this is it right but what i'm getting at is last night uh there we had a nice meeting with uh, uh jason and heather powers it was very cool after that we took a walk there had been this thing coming in like another re-examination of false self guilt false self shame false yeah, self-sabotage the old stuff right and i'm like going well, morgan why are we talking about this i thought this was all like you know and of course we know all we all know now that it's there to be released and another expansion but what i was wondering because last night seemed to be kind of an emotional thing uh and this morning and i didn't check facebook she did and she said yeah you know what people are picking up this emotional thing like something's happening so what I'm getting at is that feeling, whether it be an emotional feeling or whatever the feeling is, in a conscious community, in terms of our quantum abilities, our quantum reality, really, in that what we observe, we don't just observe, we actually create with what we observe, our, our, the thoughts we carry forward from the observation, let's put it that way, which for so much of, for all of us, a big part of it has been the one-on-one -on -one human interactions. Oh, she's thinking this and he did that. And, and we were starting to realize that we actually create things from our observations, from the thoughts that come from our observations. So I'm wondering, like, in a community, or, and I know it's early in the game, but are you seeing, is there congruence there? Are people like, I don't know if this is the right term, but quantum consciously aware? Are they like, are they like taking self-responsibility and self-reliance for the outcome of the community and therefore, you know, beyond that? Are you seeing any yeah. of that? Yeah, that's, I would say that's exactly this big shift that we're experiencing now is, I mean, there's been lots of communities before, but like you said, it's always been still like more from the outside in. Like there was still the talk and the gossip and the problems. And so you needed rules and, you know, that it's somehow working. And what we're experiencing is truly empowered individuals that are absolutely authentically speaking without any fear, what they're experiencing, what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. There is no one offended by it. There's no judgment. It's wow. purely from the inside out. And, and of course there's triggers, there is triggers, but even that people know we need those triggers because we're helping each other to get the crap out of the system. Yeah. And it's, it's beautiful to see how open we can all be with that. Yeah. And how, you know, it's this space holding is not like trying to take the pain away from someone. It's really just being there and listening. Yeah. And people taking their space if they need the space but it's all so beautifully organic and you realize 
when you vibrate on that same frequency of unity and, and the same values and this source code that we're embodying that is like so strong now mm -hmm. that you don't need any rules. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very organic flow. And that's, for me, that's amazing it's, to experience that. Yeah. There is two points on that. For me, it's that when you know that everything is your projection, and yeah. you start stop finger point. You start stop finger pointing, and you own everything. That that's key. I, I, it doesn't necessarily to go through all the 50, uh, 42 pages of the source code and understand all the values, understand how everything in quantum level. Uh, it's this is my projection. This is my thing, and it's for me. Then when we are together, what happens, and how more people are coming, more it happens, is that. Uh, the divine planning means that everything is accelerated and instant manifestation is if you have a fear, the next morning you're going to find it in the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But the, Then yeah. there is a really a, a multiple hack. There is a people space holding you. Right. You can say openly, hey, you are doing this and I'm closing my heart and I felt that I closed my heart and you are able to say that to people. You are able to say, you, you don't hate me because I say that, because in the other context, you felt that if you are being judged, you're being, no, yeah. no, 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 it's just, I'm because really interested in what you're saying. It's so beautiful, this, that makes something new. The new thing for me, it's the fast forward speed on transcendence, the shit, and transcendent and transform the, the embodiment. So the body. So it's, Amazing. So if it can be somebody crying about one fear and in one hour, all together, going through the next thing, it's like, it disappeared. Yeah. It's, and because also at the same time, we know about this safe space. I think two days ago in the morning, I was not acting, a part of me was not acting uh, uh, aligned with the source code. And she disconnects, she, she left the room, she went to her, her safe space, and in 10 minutes I came there and I said, hey, I realize, I tell the ladies before you say anything, I realize that it's done, I acknowledge, I'm sorry, it's good to say, I'm sorry, I realize it's shit that is still on my DNA, mm -hmm. and I'm clear, and it's done. It's fast. Mm -hmm. And that speed, it's contagious. And it makes people that are in the community, uh, living and working there, that are not the ones who are co-creating the project every day, that they are feeling that. And, and their joy completely changed and their life changed. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, so like, you know, in a, in a partnership like y'all have or like I have, one of the things that you realize after a while is that, okay, if, if she's getting something and she's processing something and therefore elevating, I know it's, it's almost like I don't have to do it. You know what I mean? It's like I pick up that frequency and whether it's conscious or not, or whether I go through any modality or whatever, I'm actually, you know, I'm benefiting from it. So it sounds like that it, at this, at this, as this, this new uh, real or the new reality in this like communal atmosphere that if one person's picking up something then the others are going to be privy to that you know either consciously or unconsciously and and, and have an opportunity for for a shift with more ease and grace hopefully <laughs> or something yeah. like that does that make sense yeah and one thing that it's not possible for me or i never experienced before is that you are allowed to hold the mirror for the others because you are not doing in a way that it's a U D. No, no, it's I'm just holding the mirror in this situation. And then they are doing it for you. And also for the people that approximate the project. I remember a, a lady who, who who wants to contribute in the project with the space and, and she's interested in, in discovering if there is a relationship. And she asked when she came to us and, he, and she asked about that, we hold the mirror. And, and that can be really raw for somebody that is not used. But when you are in that frequency, people get it. Yeah. 
people get it. People are not saying, this guy is telling me that I did all of this in my life and that, that, that. And now he's coming with these ideas. That's the old way. In the no way, it's people welcoming and wanting more. Mm. Welcoming because they know that you are not there. Because you are not coming from a place of the mind saying you are doing wrong or that. It's from the heart. Yeah. When you are in the heart all day, oh my God. That, that's for me the magic. Yeah. Being able to be in the heart and be, you don't need to go to the mind again because everybody's on the heart. And we know that there's still this uh, multidimensional phase where we are going up and down and cleansing. But most of the time we are in the heart. And that is most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. <clears throat> that, that is the new. What is... What is the, let me just tell everybody too, uh, we've had more luck the last four shows uh, with people not getting knocked off. But if you do get knocked off repeatedly, there's, uh, I pinned the uh, Zoom link. So you can go to the Zoom room, there's about 10 people in there. Uh, so what is, what does holding the mirror up for someone in the community look like? Or someone holding it up for you? What does that look like? I'm just curious, I'm, I'm slow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna make a, a, an example. Okay. We were we were in the in the first trip that we did here. We were talking to somebody about if it's natural or not, or if it's aligned to the source code or which values we want about having a pork farm in in our community. That it's something that people can question. For some people, it's impossible to think, and we were talking about. And uh, the lady who owns the, the farm and the, and the place was, oh, because my, 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 I, I can live without bacon. Bacon for me, it's like the smell and that. And said, oh, that's a memory childhood, a childhood memory. So you have the peaks in that condition just for your attachment to that childhood memory. Mm. She was, fuck, I'm doing this just for that. So if you usually do that to somebody else, you are trapped to the to the this thing from the you are trapped on the past, you are living in nostalgia. No, here it's like in a natural way in a conversation, and the other get it, and the other act and then decide to do something different, but detach really fast from that memory. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are seeing a pattern in somebody else, it's not that you're going saying, wait, wait, there is a pattern here, there is a pattern here. But it's Moments that the other, the, the other feel the pattern, the other start having curiosity why there is this pattern. And then you say, I think that maybe that pattern can be for this. It can be for that. Maybe that is related to your fear of this or to fear of that. You're just sharing honestly your feelings yeah. because not your judgments or your opinions or your, pre you have your perspective, but it's without interpretation. Yeah. Just an, feeling. an honest, Heart, uh, an honest, uh, you know, observation, commentary from the heart. You're just saying, hey. Yeah, you know. yeah and it's often just asking questions. It's not even, yeah. you know, like sharing an observation, but it's often also just asking questions. Um, or really, uh, if it's observation, just sharing from your own point of view and feelings what you're observing without any attachment to a certain outcome. but. That's exactly what makes it possible to, to live in this new way. Because at the end, you know that you're not here to prevent the pain for the others. <clears throat> yeah. And triggers is, yeah, all the triggers have pain on the release, yeah. but necessary. So yeah. trying to avoid the conflict or avoid situation, or if there is a, con if there is a situation, before escalate to conflict, we are going to the situation. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah, that makes sense. That and it makes sense too. Well, first of all, it's direct communication. You're not allowing anything to get swept under the rug. We've already got all this shit from all these years <laughs> that's under yeah. the rug, and that's what's coming out. And I think that's maybe that's uh, what's gone on the last day or two. And I know it's not unique to us. Uh, is things these things that have popped up and we've all been through that but uh you know funny because uh, i think it was yesterday we laid down and took a quick meditation and uh, morgan saw 
a big dragon eye in front of her. And, and I had been feeling something. I was like, man, there's like this masculine energy here. And it feels like that Cali goddess energy, but it's masculine. Like, you know, that's the kind of energy that comes in and says, we ain't effing around. Let's clean this house up, you know? And so, um, but that's, that to me, it was like, a, and, and many things were said, like in our own conversation, like things were put on the table, old things, new things, and they were just put on the table. And there was no like, okay, how do we fix this? It was just like, you know, I asked her last night, I said, well, what are you gonna do? She goes, I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. Yeah. I said, I can't, I still got stuff to work out. <laughs> yeah. But the point was, she said, I said everything I needed to say and I'm good. So I kind of went with that. And then I started looking at um, like these things that had presented themselves, you know, let's just call them third energies or, or you know, cause most of the time we deal with people, that's where we get hung up, right? And I started to think about this quantum thing. I thought, well, wait a minute. Nobody really knows anything, first of all. But if this is quantum, that means that what I project is actually going to influence what I, the, my individual experience and therefore the collective experience to include people. How do we know that doesn't affect people? If I think of you in a certain way, how do I know that's not going to affect you? You know what I mean? I mean, we don't really know. But, but And I started to look at the whole situation like that and say, you know what? that's taking responsibility for the whole thing and even having a positive effect on somebody else. So that's what I'm, that's where I'm at with you. What you guys are describing with this community thing is that everybody's direct, keep it, keep everything up, you know, on the surface and uh, know that it's all for the highest and best good. Is that, is that? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's funny that you mentioned the, the masculine energy that it feels like Kali energy, but it's masculine. And um, that's exactly what's helping us right now is to, to speak with much more clarity. You know, the, the feminine energy is very much like flowy and not getting very concrete and wrapping it all a little bit into love and light. And, mm-hmm. But not coming to, you know, there's not really a focus and there's not really a clear language. Yeah. And that's what the what the masculine is. It's really kicking into the embodiment now. Yeah. Yeah. And it all, of course, it's perfectly divinely ordered that the feminine needed to shift first into the divine aspects. And now the masculine is shifting into that from the control patterns and from the, you know, like aggressiveness and from the... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like, like, like just the, 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 the weak masculine into that new divine masculine energy of being responsible, taking responsibility, speaking out clearly what you want and what you don't want yeah. without any expectation, without any attachment, but being very clear. Yeah. And we didn't have that so much before. No, no. Yeah, and, and I didn't. And I didn't realize. I, and you're right, though. I can see that. You know, in in uh, thinking back to yesterday and talking to Wanda Vitalik, she had. Yeah. She, she was talking about about that inspired action of the masculine energy, and of course, we're talking energy, but that makes sense to me because this is how I felt. I think I told her yesterday, you know, that I that I went through this whole thing and got castrated and demasculated and all that, and I'm standing there. <laughs> And I'm going for like three months and I'm going like, you know, I need to do something. Like, I, I know I can't go back into that old controlling, you know, alpha male thing and all that, but I need to do something, you know, like this is getting to me. And I felt, and I told Morgan a few days ago, I felt like a, like a, a beast on a leash. And I'm yeah. like, I'm ready now. I'm going to, I'm going to behave myself and I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be conscious of what my power and my forces and my actions but i gotta i gotta do this and then wanda was talking about inspired action uh the masculine energy yes. you know acting from inspiration which is to me love and and, and all the, the great virtues but yeah i can see that now uh but the the bottom line there with what you said is the directness the clarity uh and and you know uh and, and yeah being clear uh, and, and not being attached, not having expectations, because that seems to be a real patriarchal kind of uh, constant in any type of energy exchange was, you know, I'm going to do this, so you do this. Exactly. And that's, that's when it comes to relating. 
between people. But what is also happening, what we're observing with the masculine energy really kicking in, and we had these discussions and it really, it's beautiful to see the process, is that it came from just seeing possibilities, which is very the feminine energy being in the field of all possibilities, mm -hmm. realizing um, that more and more structure is coming in. Yeah. And, and that the structure is needed to focus energy onto something. Because if you're always just in the field of all possibilities, that's nice, but it's always going to be a possibility. But at some point, you need structure to channel the energy and to really put things into action. Yeah. To get things into the manifestation process of instead of just, you know, dreaming about it, really. Yeah, that, that, ex that helps me a lot. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I got to make sure I get this because that really helps me a lot because that goes back to what I was saying a minute ago. Um, I backed off, man. Like, and, you know, everybody knows my work is Sology. You know, my, my world's pretty, pretty small. And so, you know, I'm, I'm in this old pattern of, you know, I'm going to go to this town. We're going to do an event. We're going to raise some hell. We're going to build some excitement. We're going to do something, even though it's kind of scattered and all that. And then I went into the whole just let it come to you. Remember the, the grocery cart going down the, the aisle and the groceries just fall into your, you know, into your basket. And, but now this, this beast on a leash, man. And I'm like, okay, I, I get it. I, I get the synchronicities and the alignment and the things flowing to us. But this is, this is kind of, I guess this is what I'm saying too, is I feel like it's time to, to mold it, you know, uh, in this new way though. But I mean, mold it, uh, allow the pieces to come in, but but there's still got to be some type of um, cosmic infrastructure. You know, there's got to be some type of of core uh, foundation to to you know for the for the the branches and the leaves and everything to grow off of the main the main uh, construction of it. Yeah. I will, oh yeah, I'm gonna send you something. Send me something in the mail. <laughs> just make sure it's not illegal. <laughs> no, you have it in the messenger. Before, I don't know if you can share it on the... Yeah, I can share. Uh, here oh, we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Have it in the messenger right now? Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. This is kind of cool. Let me, just, <laughs> let me get back over here and go here. Yeah, I can share it. Wow, it's really amazing. Source code, compass, and the baby that looks like it's in a spaceship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's in a washing machine. Mm, yeah. So this is the the way that now I'm feeling to explain what we are doing, and this is like kind of a internal. There is no more internal or external because I'm proving that we are sharing. We're sharing, everything. We're sharing everything, and this is the infinite symbol, as you can see. If yes. Take, yeah. Yes. The roots. It's all the different journeys, access points of awakenings, until you arrive to the source. Mm. To realize what is the source and how it works, this projection, whatever this this life, and all the roots. It's the path that we, as a as a souls, as a human. Uh, heroes uh, with our skills, our minerals, our nutrients, our whatever, we arrive to that point. And then what the first thing is discover what is the new code of the source, the new values, the new laws of the universe in, the, in this new thing. Then the moment that you start discovering that, you go through the embodiment. And the embodiment is really entering in a washing machine and you exit completely dizzy, but clean as a baby. It's a, uh, you drop everything of you. You drop your identities, your beliefs, everything. And it's like the sap inside the trunk of the tree that it's a loop. It's multidimensional. So you go up and down, up and down, up and down. Then you arrive to the compass of the new earth. That it's not here, but I can share in another moment the compass. It's, it's, it's a little bit more complex not for today. And the compass is where your purpose find a direction to mm. some branch and then you enter in that branch and you end working in a specific project that it's a leaf, a flower, a fruit. So the compass 
it's necessary to find there is a process of curiosity, exploration, um, intention, and action. Mm. And that happens through the compass. You are discovering all the possibilities that you can be in the new world. You can, in the new world, you can be a fireman, you can be a teacher, you can be uh, uh, basically all kind of artists. So you need to discover in what. If you want to, basically, you can create hardware that is structure or software that is content for the new earth. And these, all this infrastructure, all this paths, all these branches, all these leaves, is that we are now, in, at least in our project, we are writing down and preparing the journey for the people that are right now are going in this washing machine, that they're going to arrive to the compass in some moment, they're going to be able to find their purpose. But in the end, it's universal. It's not only yeah, yeah, related yeah. to fast forward. It's related to anything. It's it's yeah. really yeah. this process we all go through right now, and we're in the embodiment phase. And and in in the end, we all do not know what the new paradigm exactly will look like. Yeah. But we do have a structure that a lot of people do not have yet. But that's the masculine energy now coming in more and more, giving the structure so that you can navigate according to a certain structure. You can start discovering. And take, uh, taking decisions. And taking decisions. Of yeah. which branches you want to Where you want work, to explore. Because are completely new. And if you look, it's, like, it's again, it's not straight lines. It's like in the roots that there is no straight lines. And everybody cross and goes. Yeah, and, and it's all connected. And I don't feel yet anybody uh, building the new. I'm not feeling people that are still building leaves or fruits on the new earth. I'm feeling that a lot of people, the, the forerunners are still on the washing machine, or at least what I'm feeling is people are still dropping beliefs, dropping identity, the attachment of things, <clears throat> that, and that's the washing machine until you are like a baby. Yeah. You and then you can start when you, because it's impossible to build a new in the old way. Yeah, that's true. I feel like, I feel like if I'm in the washing machine, I'm on the second rinse. <laughs> the, the extra rinse because I had extra dirt. You got some extra rinse. <laughs> but uh, no, I like that. Yeah. And then I love the fact that, because uh, I've heard for eight years, you, know, you can't do it the way it's been done before. You know, yeah. you can't you can't do anything the way it was done before. Yeah, that's a that's a really cool picture, really cool picture. We got yeah, a we got a couple of comments here uh, specifically about Augusti. They wanted to know. <laughs> they wanted to know. Did you just morph into a really cute dog? And <laughs> they also wanted to know. Um, oh, that, somebody said actually, you, you, wow, you've gone through an incredible transformation. <laughs> Here, that's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dog. Yeah. So that's what really. Is, huh? Sorry, what are people asking, Todd? No, they weren't asking. They were making a comment that you'd gone through a quite a quite a transformation. Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah, it, and I'm, I, I'm more had, the baby. More and more the baby playing trains. Well, I, I like I, I I like that baby thing because. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've all held babies, you know. I mean, I had six I raised, and I, I mean, they're little bitty, innocent, and but they're always clean. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, once you clean them, anyway. But they've got that that you know, and and that's 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 a beautiful thing to think about. You know, you said something earlier, and and you said um, you were talking about the triggers, and of course the mirror. And, and, this, and, it, and it went right by my head, but, but I got it back. And, and what I was getting at was, you know, there's, there, we're moving away from the blame and the shame and the projection and, and, and all that finger pointing and all that stuff. And maybe it's starting to sink in now that we all went through the same shift, <laughs> all through the same shit or whatever you want, pre-shift, whatever you want to call it. We were programmed whether it was DNA, you know, fooled with or whatever, who cares, right? But nobody was at fault for that. In fact, I think we probably raised our hands and said, we'll jump into that hell hole and see what we can make out of it, you know? But maybe that's part of this community 
consciousness that you're that you're a part of and that's expanding on this earth is the fact that we we just all kind of say you know what uh none of us can be blamed there's no blame to be given you know i mean we all are just removing the crap from the experiences that we had and and there's and, and, and the great thing about it is that there's there is just like our shifts micro macro we clean off the crap and then you have a you have an elevation you know yeah. Cool. yeah, one thing that Beta always say, it's if it's the DNA or it's the other or it's, does it matter? No. Because what, what I'm feeling more and more is be that kid and play. Doesn't matter if it's your DNA is shifting or not. Obviously, every time that I'm reading Lisa, Lisa Brown, it's I'm feeling, oh, I'm understanding a little bit more and then maybe I'm going to, but you know, you are playing and what, and, and it's, it helps a little bit more to, to don't go crazy. Yeah. To, to don't say, hey, guy, I'm going to jump from the window because nothing makes sense in, in my life anymore. But at the same time, it's that kid. I, I remember arriving to Switzerland. And one of my traumas when I was a kid is that my cousins all had big train layouts, you know, the, the, the models with a lot of trains and, and electricity and, and uh. change. And I had the simple one. And, and before leaving Amsterdam, I wanted to buy one really cheap, but one with lights and sound and smoke. And, and I said, okay, no, because we are leaving Amsterdam. So we arrived to Bern and we were sleeping at the kids' room of the, our friends. And it was that, that train exactly was there in that room. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna say anything. And later the kid then came to me, Agusti, I want to play with you. Seriously, we spend one hour creating two nerves and, and yeah. oh, it's, I allow myself to play. Mm-hmm. Seriously, I want to see people talking about Ascension saying, yeah, I'm playing today, I play today. I, I love Maya that it's doing surf all day. It's, yeah, it's, we're feeling shit a lot of time. This body releases is, and this is the first phase and it's going to be more phases. It's, let's play, let's surf, let's play trains and that's a uh, that's a good point. Uh, God, it's, no, that's a really good point, and it's and it's you know it's okay because we can be direct now, right? Uh, yeah. We're not finger pointing or anything. What serves what has served us in many capacities no longer serves us, and this is what this whole trip has taught yeah. us. You know, it's like uh, you know you get out of one washing machine today, you can get in another one tomorrow <laughs> for a while. But, but the thing is, this whole play thing. That is, that is, uh, that is, that's a, that's a space. That's a frequency that we can latch onto. Look, you guys are experiencing, I mean, some similar things to what we are. And so you, you're in this space and, and it's like so friendly and so beautiful and, and, and so magical. And then something will come in and pull you back a little bit, you know, and, and this is how we've all been going through this, right? But something as simple as, for instance, today we went outside, we're, we're sitting outside by this fountain and this man walked up to us who was walking his dog. Anyway, we, Maury started talking to him. He says, you guys need to go up to Northern California. I know a secret place there. And he gave us the name of the place. And he told us that, you know, this is, this is why it's so great. There's a stream, there's a little beach, it's up in the mountains. And he said, yeah, and it can only use tents. And uh, the bears will come, right? And, I, and, and Morgan's like, bears? <laughs> well, you know, well, they hurt you. And I'm thinking too, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not camped a whole lot, but there was something, in other words, in the message and in the conversation that he was, that he was having with us that was telling me, basically, we're going to be up there and we're going to be hanging around bears. And I would have never thought you know, he said, I was fishing the other day and a, a, a mother and two cubs just came in and started playing in the water and they let me sit there and watch. You know, I'm like, wow, that's like, I wouldn't even think about that. I mean, I'd be shitting in my pants, you know, especially if it has cubs. But, but I guess what I'm saying is that this is the plane. The plane is the plane is the community, the sharing, uh, the non-ownership, non-possession, uh, because when you take all that stuff out, it becomes like a big playground. You know, nobody owns anything. You don't have to pay for water. You know, you don't have to pay for anything. It's just, it's just all part of the uh, the playground. Yeah. 
Yeah. So these yeah. these these little seemingly um, you know trivial, meaningless encounters actually carry gigantic you know opportunities into the magical playground. They do. They do. And you know, even when you go, that's the new thing. Even when you go through the stuff, it's still magical because you're not alone anymore. And, and experiencing the, the magic of that safe space of other people around you just being there for you without trying to fix it for you. Yeah. That's, that's really beautiful that you can be your true authentic self anytime, fully transparent. Yeah. yeah. And that is priceless really <laughs> well it's a little bit uh it's a little bit tricky in this transition but i'm seeing it uh and i've seen it in people and, and that is to actually be direct and put things on the table um because sooner or later i mean that's what i got from this whole dragon thing because I, I had seen the eye a couple of times the day before but i didn't get it real heavy you know but but what i got out of it was well, I said to myself this morning, the next time either one of us sees a dragon, I know that there's going to be some stuff that's going to be cleaned out of the closet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it has to be done. That baby's, that baby's still in the washing machine. And, yeah. you know, but by God, if you got to get a dragon to come in and clean out the little nooks and crannies, then that's what you got to do. Because anyone that's ever changed a baby's diaper that's got a bunch of rolls knows you got to, like, lift the skin and look. <laughs> And that door of the washing machine won't open until you are completely clean. Yeah, yeah. that is the cape of it's, this journey. That's very impossible. true. Unless you want to continue looping in the washing machine. I uh, prefer not to. I don't, think, uh, I don't think anyone is uh, interested in that. Heck no. Heck <laughs> no. I, Heck. I was <clears throat> thinking the last time that we talked, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was a, I didn't want to go on, and you didn't want to go on. And Augusty didn't. Augusty was like sitting there, then took off. That was that, <laughs> that day you fired him. But but, oh, but, yeah. but, but seriously, the the uh, but if you look at the from there to to here, like you know from from that point, whatever that was, five weeks ago. Uh, there's got to be as the individual goes, so goes the collective. There's got to be a parallel there, and I think that maybe. Uh, you know, that's part of what, what went on uh, the last, uh, say, month or so. Is there was a lot of people speaking their mind. And that wasn't really an easy, easy thing to do because, like you said, it's not about the mirror thing isn't about right or wrong. You know, it's just about this has got to come out. And yeah. uh, maybe we're past that bumpy stage now. Maybe we can, maybe with people yeah. like you leading the way, maybe we can keep expand this frequency that you guys are experiencing. I remember being in a meeting with one of the members of the community and being in the meeting, suddenly one person went out and that, that was the, the guest of the meeting. And, and, and one of the members of the meeting was like, wow, my heart is closing. So it, it's in real time. You don't need to wait to arrive home and, and deliver that. It's in real time, go through the thing and say, yeah, I saw, I saw that you lost your, your smile. Your, it's, it's, and you are awarded for the other but not worry it in the classic sense. You just know that the other is going through, through something, yeah. the other to say it, because just the moment that you start sharing your feelings without fear of the consequences. Yeah. You remember that if this, then that, that we were talking? Yeah. We not sharing our feelings because there is always consequences. Yeah. And I don't know you. So, it, it's really brave when you are at the home of somebody else or in a community that, oh, that is going to, you, you can't be yourself. You are all the time thinking, if I say this, remember that then someday it's going to come back with that or it, it's going to be regrets there. Being able to not think in consequences ever. That's... And that's unconditional. That yeah. really is embodied, being unconditional in the embodied form. Yeah, yeah and that's got nothing to do with the other person. <laughs> that's, what's, no, that's, person. What's, that's what's so funky about it is because, uh, well, that's a bet. I mean, you think about it. I do it, you know, I don't know I do. I mean, like, I, I won't say something because, oh, yeah. I, and here we go again with the quantum thing. 
if I'm not going to say something, then I'm going to create an energy and an experience that there is going to be a consequence. But the thing is, I don't even have to say anything because I just created the consequence. You know, <laughs> so it goes back to that quantum thing. And uh, yeah, so, you know, if you if you potentially, if potentially, if you're going to have a consequence, you're better off saying something, not saying anything at all, because we've all been there. And that is when nothing was said and then months and months and years go by. And then all of a sudden there's an, there's an explosion. And that to me is, is that pure, yeah. pure patriarchal masculine, you know, yeah. frequency. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. No, but now it's really happening that we're dealing with the stuff in the moment, yeah. in the now moment without any delay, you're just dealing with it. Yeah. You're speaking it out. You're, you're, yeah. You're processing it in real time, not like, yeah. oh, I have to like take this home with me. And then maybe two days later, I realize something. It's so fast now. Yeah. And for us, ever since we're together in this small community, it goes even faster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, the the yeah. field is much stronger. And going back to the quantum, when I met Vera, I already had a blueprint for the new society, new earth, whatever you And I was trying and I almost died twice to build it, to build that in an old way. Yeah. You know, if you look at the Bible, there is, the, the, everything is mir miracles. Nothing happened like Moses opening the sea by creating a dam or creating a bridge. No, no, no. Everything is magic. There is, Everything not make sense. A few days ago, we were talking in somebody and said, only when you start living your life, doing things that not make sense, mm -hmm. it's when the miracles can happen. Because if you're in your life, everything makes sense, zero miracles. It's when makes sense your life, it's from here. When not make sense, it's from your heart. Yeah. Simple like this. Yeah. Then miracles happen. And one of the things that I'm feeling here, it's, there is some people in Europe that wants to come here that are ready. And at the beginning, it's, there is still uh, fewer space and we don't have yet uh, enough bedrooms and, and, and the place where we are is temporary until we're going to go to the next one that is still, um, everything needs to unfold on the right time. And it's, and it's beautiful, the process also of unfolding because it's going through the washing machine for everybody. It's beautiful because I feeling that it's more going through the process of the washing machine, getting a clear intention of these branches, this um, purpose of everybody, and then everything it starts to unfolding with a lot of magic. So it's more and more that suddenly the allowing, so the, the, the situation start to manifesting in a way that if you try to, to try to plan it in the mind, no. The resources, are, it's for me, it's the open sources, open resources. People able to let go amazing lives in Europe, or careers, to just jump to these open resources. But obviously, open resources are only open when you're able to do things that don't make sense, that really follow your heart. And I'm feeling that this new earth, it's going to be a quantum thing. It's not going to be like, yeah, now that we're going to decide how it looks like and that, then we're going to spend a hundred years to build the second renaissance, a hundred years to build, oh, no, no, it's going to be a, a quantum thing. It's going to be instant. It's going to be magic. And it doesn't matter if at the end it's not like this. And if the end appear a thousand people that want to build that, it's going to be a miracle also. Mm -hmm. so I don't care about anymore about how it's going to be manifest. And there is a sentence from her that for me, it killed me again because she, she has this sentence that, that it's, there is only one way. How or now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <Please>. that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, the business meetings will be a lot shorter now. <laughs> you know? They will. Yeah. 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 Yes. No more planning. Well, that... This creating out of the now moment and knowing you always have you feel the impulses what's next yeah you don't have to think about what am i going to do tomorrow or in two days or in four days because you're going to feel it in the moment yes 
And that is so uncomfortable for the old way of thinking. The yeah. whole world. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm I'm reflecting now too, like uh the last three years. Well, most of my time was spent alone, but but that was what I was chasing. And that's what would happen. I could be over here, you know, standing in a pile of deep shit. <laughs> but I was like or I could be in a situation where I was, you know, I had a bedroom and somebody was, I was at their house and then boom, something would come in and I just knew you got to go. You got to yeah. go and come snow, shine, whatever, man. I mean, and yeah. And, and I, I remember telling, I used to tell Morgan that I'm, I can feel this little ball of energy. I can feel it like, you know, but I can't keep it. It, it comes and it goes, and, but that's, that's what it was. It was, it was impulsive, but in, you know, like the way you're saying it, not in a bad way. So, not in a re reaction. So what we're doing is every time that somebody wants to solve something, we know that it's not on the way. Yeah. Because solving is not from impulses. Impulses is like, boom, you go and you do the impulse and everything unfolds with ease and grace. Mm -hmm. When you are trying to find solutions, oh, what if we rent this place? What about if we do this? What about when you are doing solutions? Nope, it's not an impulse. Go to a capirinha, mm -hmm. go and find a capirinha <laughs> because it's not time for solutions anymore. And the impulses, that's the new masculine. The impulses, from the now, you feel it and you take action mm -hmm. in the full trust that, that this is what you need to do now. Yeah. And it's no longer the old masculine trying to plan, trying to figure out how to solve something. I like that. And, and that's the dance of the feminine and masculine, because of course, other people, like the, the more action oriented people are more uncomfortable with being still for a couple of days and having the patience until there's another impulse and not trying to push things to make them happen. And at the same time, the, those people with more feminine energy are very uncomfortable with taking action. But they will also feel that shift of all of a sudden being impulses there and being pushed out of their comfort zone or the other way around for the more masculine to be pushed out of the comfort zone and being patient for a couple of days. And that's where we're balancing right now in really in the embodied, in the embodied, in every cell is getting ready for that. So we yeah. can very clean slate baby taking these impulses, playing, following them fully in the moment, like we were when we were still kids. Yeah. We unlearning it. And that's really, really beautiful for me to well, see that, it happening. Well, the, the whole problem solving thing, that, that jumps out at me because that's been such a huge part, you know, of, yeah. of the patriarchal. I know my old life, that was, that was one of my skills, you know, was to yeah. forecast and in, and, you know, strategize and solve, basically solve. But, uh, but you're yeah. right. And it, the way I see it too, which is exciting about the, well, about partnerships and also exciting about community is it's actually this, the, it's not even, uh, it's just, it's like a magnet, like electromagnetic, you know, it's like the energy itself is what actually is creating, you know, in unison with, the core, be it an individual, partners, a community, but I can see that just having that vibration, you know, like even when we meet people, we've met quite a few people since we've been here, uh, the energy is, you know, like last night uh, we met with a couple and they were like, okay, let's do a live and, 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 and like nobody said anything. Yeah. And then when we got together, it was just like, hey, why don't we just chill out and get to know each other? Because it was like, everybody just kind of went to this, 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 uh, same frequency, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody new is in the Zoom room, and I don't usually do a lot of questions, but uh, she was, wrote a very nice note, and I know, I know Vera, you wrote about this stuff for a long time. Uh, she's, I guess, uh, kind of new to this, <laughs> and so she was just saying uh, maybe a quick answer. She's realized that this process causes anxiety in, in us. You know, it, it can cause anxiety in, in, in any of us, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not any different. But th is there any way, uh, I mean, there's probably many ways, but I mean, how, how, do, how does somebody deal with that? What, is there a way out? Hmm? To deal with anxiety. Yeah. So 
anxiety is not an emotion. A lot of people think it's an emotional reaction, but it's a it's an overreaction of your. First of all, it's caused by the overreaction of your mind, mm -hmm. and your body goes into a shock kind of um, state of mind. So your adrenaline runs much higher than than usually. So it's not an emotion; it's an overreaction of the body. And so for for when you're really new to this and you have anxiety, that's when when meditation methods can really help. Because it's all about calming down the mind, breathing techniques and stuff like that. Um, someone I really recommend for things like that, because he's the only one I know of who's combining the energetics with the physical body in a very integrated way, like how everything functions with each other is Eric Rains. He has a a yeah. lot of breathing um, techniques, very simple ones, a lot of um, um, uh, tips and tricks, how to, you know, like uh, integrate that into a, a kind of meditate, meditative state. So for people who really are new to this and are still overwhelmed by anxiety, I, I recommend to do that. Um, yeah. Of course, it's a lot easier when you are in a community like this. Than <laughs> always have someone who can who can uh, help you out with that but when you're alone at home it's important to understand anxiety is it, it's not there's not going to be an emotional reaction it's an overreaction of the yeah. of the uh, physical body so you'll need exercises to calm the system down yeah and what triggers that anxiety it's something in our cells that it's there from the whole life and we still have things that provokes us anxiety and it's going through going through going through so let's feel it that let's feel it just calm calm now let's feel it the next the next the next the next until it's completely all the way all the cycles of the washing machine are clear yeah but that's what i was trying to say that it, it's not really related to an emotional yeah. reaction i don't want to confuse it with yeah. the with the feelings so if it's really a, a pure anxiety attack Mm -hmm. then the best thing to do is calm the mind down because the mind goes into the spirals. Um, and so you, you'll, you'll need to calm the mind down and, and okay. calm the body down, the physical body. Okay. If, it's, if it's really related to a, a fear from the past, it will show up that because then you're going to go into an emotional state as well. And that's when this kicks in. So when, when it's really important to feel the emotion. Yeah. But the anxiety, it's nothing we need to feel. It's something where we need to calm our system down. Yeah. So that's a bit tricky in the beginning to, to really learn to feel into this. Is it my mind? And you can really easily, if it's your mind going crazy, you know it's an anxiety attack yeah. because your body goes into shock. But if you feel um, emotionally touched by this, you feel angry or you feel like you... Um, you have like a memory from the past, you know, there is a pattern that emotionally is attached to it. Mm. And then it's important to, to, to recognize it and to feel it, to release it. It's two different things. Yeah. Great. Answers. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Great answers. So, uh, yeah. And then, and then she had another one. We can kind of run this one around the table and close it out. Um, Cause this has been coming up, you know, as, as more and more, um, information is coming out in the media and in the alternate news, you know, the movie and all that, uh, more and more people are, to me anyway, seem to be focused on the external movie, you know, uh, spaceships yeah. landing, uh, pedophilia being put in place, people going to jail, you know, all that stuff, right? And I think it's interesting because this has actually come up in the last few shows uh, where it's become a distraction. It's a distortion. It's just more of the distortion. And her question was, how does this fit into governments breaking down and, and such? And I, and I would just lead with that. And, and then you guys can respond. Uh, this is how you do it. <laughs> you just follow the fairy tale. You, you don't you know, operate from, from the mind you, you, that, that tells you what makes sense. You operate from the heart and do the things that don't make sense. 
So that's that's and, and that keeps your field of vision uh, in your in your uh, you know in, in the only real estate that you can own in the universe, which is your little sphere around you and those people that are that are yeah. collaborating, co-creating with you. So that's that's mm -hmm. my answer. What do you guys think? Yeah. Um, well, it's it's the it's the energetic law of attention. So wherever you focus your attention on, it will grow in your experience. And if you if you continuously ev like engage into all these different storylines you have available, I mean they're endless. The the stories based on fear that you can uh, engage with. Um, it, it's it's this becoming aware of. I am I am engaging in a story right now, and I'm focusing on something that I actually don't like. But the, the, the energy only knows energy and it knows focus. It doesn't know whether I like something or not. It just follows my like projection, what I'm focusing on and lets this grow because obviously I want to experience this yeah. um, from an energetic point of view. So it's really learning to focus on the things that I want to experience and shifting the focus consciously. Also, every time it's, it's like catching yourself Oh, now I'm again like entangled into this, and it's an entanglement process to to relearn to shift your energy to the things you really want to experience. So the rest will start fading away from your reality, and that doesn't mean to ignore it. You still know it's there, and all the stories are there. Um, but you always have the choice: do you want to focus on the new and on creating the new, mm -hmm. or do you want to try to fix the old? Yeah. Uh, that's an endless cycle of trying to fix the old. Yeah. And uh, that would be my answer. I don't know if you have anything to add. Your life is a, you, you have the control, your life is a video game, a uh, video console, video, video, the PlayStation. So pick up the games that you want in your reality. Simple like this. You want... If you want to play games based on fear and more research of that, buy more of, you are buying more of that all the time. If you want to buy, to buy things related to a beautiful life, buy these games. You don't even have to buy them. You no, get them yeah. for free. <laughs> yeah, they are for free. You can download them for free without yes. hacking anything. It's for free. Yeah. 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 And, and, I think, yeah. and I'm not saying that the game of uh, Arturian's spaceships coming, it's not real. It's a game. It's there available. If you put your attention on that, it's endless. The infinite, the, the energy make endless stories above, 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 and above, and it's infinite. So any game, it's infinite. The, the levels are <laughs> endless. Pick, pick your you branch. Until you get bored. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Pick your yeah. Pick your experience. Yeah. Well, and the yeah. other thing, the other thing too is, is that, that like evidenced by your journeys uh, and other people's is that the uh, part of something's something's changed. We all know that, and and one of the uh, proofs of it is that the uh, whatever you want to call it, God, source, universe, whatever, magic. Uh, we're getting a lot more cooperation now. Maybe it's because we're smarter. I don't know, <laughs> you know, but we're, maybe it's because we broke the code or we're breaking the code, but, but it's, there's, there's more and more evidence uh, in people's lives uh, every day that the magic is real and it's a special time. And maybe, maybe it is just all tied to our level of, of awareness and awakening and elevation and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, uh, we'll have to hook up with you. Uh, you know. Yeah, we were we were thinking maybe next time we can do one with the whole community. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to, and 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 I'm and and we're ready to collaborate on anything you're doing over there. You know, we're 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 kind of tentative on the scheduling right now. We we do have a few shows lined up, but it's not like the old days, which is which is part of the magic too, <laughs> you know? Exactly. Don't force anything, let it flow. Don't plan anymore. Right. So we would really love to bring the ladies to, to see the other way, to see yeah. what it's for. The experience of inviting these crazy people in the community and how their life were transformed and how fast and because I, I'm really amazed of the next generations are faster and faster on this process. Yeah. And I, and it could be fun to, to see it in the other way. We would love to. Uh, yeah, we're open to it. So it's just, uh, 
spontaneously let us know. And yep. uh, I'll, I'll begin to work on my Portuguese. Boa <laughs> noite. <laughs> 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 Boa noite. And in the morning, it's bon dia. Boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. And pinda moinha and pinda moinha gaba. Don't forget that one. <laughs> that's a that's a hard one. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. Love you. Big hugs. Talk yeah. soon. Yeah. Thank you. See y'all later. Take care.